Hey, what's going on everybody? For this video, we're going to be conducting part two of our look at the Crossman Destroyer EX pellets that I purchased from Walmart for $2.88. For this test, we will be doing the pellet wash test in which we will wash all of our lead pellets from the Crossman factory in a 100% polyester vegetable washing bag that is very very soft but also slightly abrasive so it has kind of a a uh, polishing quality to it almost but it doesn't damage the pellets whatsoever little place to put the pellets after we get them nice and clean and I recommend using a Pyrex or similar bowl just based on the fact that there's a potential if you use a plastic container to rinse these pellets in that the lead could actually soak into the plastic itself and contaminate the dish. So with the uh, type of glass that this is, it's a lot more dense than the plastic, a lot less porous. I would highly recommend using a glass jar to eliminate the uh, possible threat of contamination with the lead. So what we do here to start this process, is we take our Crossman destroyers, hang on one second. Okay. Take our Crossman destroyers, or yeah, Crossman destroyer EXs, and we put them all into this polyester bag, which is made by Tazzy Totes. I'm not exactly sure what that company is. I just saw it at the grocery store, and it looked like it would be great for washing pellets, so I picked it up for less than three bucks. Hang on one second. Alright, now as you can see all the pellets have been transferred from the tin to the uh, polyester vegetable washing bag and they are now ready to go in our Pyrex bowl full of soap and palm olive. You can use whatever brand you like but I like palm olive because historically it's worked well for me to cut grease so it probably works well to cut whatever else you may have on the surface of a pellet off of it. I don't really like to get my hands into the water that I'm rinsing the pellets in, so I'll kind of just swish and swirl them around, and then I'll let the uh, polyester bag itself do what it's supposed to and lightly kind of knead the pellets and let the uh, polyester kind of clean the residue off of them and then dunk them in again to rinse them off. I don't really want to put my hands in water that's been contaminated with lead. I know I make a big deal out of that, but it causes cancer, so... Anything to avoid the risk, right? Maybe a little bit more. Very gentle so as not to damage the skirts, but also thorough enough to eliminate any uh, lead dust or uh, any other contaminants that might be in the tin of pellets. Alright. And that should be about good. They don't really seem that dirty. There wasn't a ton of pellet dust in this particular tin. And so... Feeling pretty pleased with this. I'll kind of rinse it one more time. And... Perfect. Set this down one more time and I will pour the pellets from the polyester bag onto the waiting bed of paper towels here. Okay, and now we have 250 clean Crossman destroyers laid out on top of these paper towels ready to rock and roll. The water itself is fairly clear. I have done pellet washing before where the water is just murky with residue, but in this case the pellets washed fairly clean and there wasn't a ton of residue left in the water so I'd say Crossman wins this round again and in the test of how clean the Crossman destroyers for 288 come out of the factory I'd give them 9.5 out of 10 alright you guys rate me subscribe hope you guys enjoyed